My son Max and I moved to a new state. The move seemed to be better for him than for me. And AMP, NBSP, Max made a dozen friends in the first week we were at our new house, while I made none. By the second week, the entire block, and a dozen or more of kids, were at my house, playing horseshoes, hide-and-seek and video games with Max while eating and drinking every sweet food and drink I owned. And AMP, NBSP, I didn't care what kind of kids Max brought over to the new house, I would toss out the troublesome and dangerous kids myself. Max became famous for his hiding skills in Hide and Seek and any video game he had, spanning back to the 1970s Atari I gifted him. I tried my best to look out for dangerous kids, the kids with bad parents, kids who cursed a lot or wanted Max to leave the house for hours without giving a good reason. I didn't think that the kid with the red hoodie would be any trouble. But the kid in the red hoodie seemed to be Max's best friend. Whenever I would see the kids playing split screen in the parlor, I would see that kid and Max always on the same team while they destroyed whatever poor souls existed on the other side of the game. And AMP, NBSP, Max seemed to become best friends with the kid with the red hoodie. He must have invited the kid over to a sleepover more than once, because I would sometimes wake to see that kid at my bedroom door while I slept, staring at me. I thought nothing of it kids do things adults don't expect, that's what makes them creepy. And AMP, NBSP, by the end of his second grade year, I had heard that Max made friends with nearly everyone at Brierson Elementary. That is why I found it so hard to believe when on June 20, Byerson called me to ask if I kept Max home sick that day, I answered negatively, that Max should have gotten on the morning bus and arrived as normal. You can only imagine my panic when they said neither the driver nor any teachers, nor anyone, at Byerson noted my child being present that day. And AMP, NBSP, I thought kidnap, and worse. Kids were worth big cash on the black market, and my fear made me feel as if the worst-case scenario was the only one that could exist. As I was stuffing my keys into my pocket, the child with the red hoodie appeared outside at my bedroom door. I was too panicked to ask why or how, I was willing to accept any solution at that point. And AMP, NBSP. I know where Max is, the boy said without looking up, he's in the same place where my daddy put me. Max got stuck. I'll show you where. I followed the kid out of my room and to the hallway, where the kid pulled away a panel and pointed. I dove into the crawl space, finding a small abandoned area the realtor did not tell me about. I continued to crawl inside, seeing only the end of a shoelace. I already knew that shoelace belonged to my Max's Spider-Man shoes as I crawled up the vent. And AMP, NBSP, what I never expected was my son to be stuck in a huddled mass five feet away from the small bones of a child in a long deteriorated burlap sack, wearing a red hoodie. This content was provided by Angelo 